Let's talk about sump pumps. I know, I know, not very exciting, but most houses have one and you should know how to get through the night if yours fails. All Star Heating and Cooling, you can be comfortable with us. Hi guys, it's Caleb Postma from Postma Heating and Cooling, and just briefly, anatomy of a sump pump. You've got a pump, and you've got a float with a switch, and this is the outlet, which we don't have tied into anything right now. So, why does your sump pump have two cords coming up the wall, and you have two plugs in it? Well, it's quite simple. One is for the, one is actually the switch, and one is for the pump. So, if you go down into your basement, and your sump pump is filling or overflowing and you've got some water coming in if you were to actually take this out of the wall outlet and you were to unplug it and you were to plug the pump directly into the wall and your pump came on it would get you through the night because some you got a 50 50 chance of what's wrong you either got a float that's bad it could be stuck it could be broken or you have a pump that's no good if you get lucky and the float or the switch is no good and the pump is still fine you could plug it in and it'll get you through the night until you can call us to change your sump pump. Um, you know what? How about I show you in action? So here we have a sump pump and a backup sump pump. This one here, you can see, has the two cords into the wall. And my sump pump is currently not running right here. So if I pull these out, and you've got the two, you unplug the one, okay? And we, can, we don't need this one right now. And we plug this back into the wall, you'll be able to hear this sump pump come on. And the sump pump comes on and it'll run. Now, one word of caution with this is that when you plug this in, it no longer has the on-off switch that it did before. So you plug this in and it is on. It'll not stop running. Which at 2 o'clock in the morning when your sump pump is full, that sounds like a good idea. But if it does keep up and it does catch up and your sump pump is all the way down, um, it, it'll, it could actually burn the pump out, which is not what you want to happen when your sump pump is having problems in the first place. So just this is just a way to get you out of trouble and I know the polar vortex is coming and lots of snow but if you've lived in Chatham for longer than three weeks you know that the snow is leaving just as fast as it came. So this might get you out of a jam. So anyway stay safe and have fun. Thanks Chatham. <laughs>